How's it going, YouTube? It's Pro City Gaming here, and I'm playing From the Depths. Uh, it's a new game that I found recently, and I'm playing it instead of Space Engineers, just for a variety. And I really like how it's like ocean boat warfare, and you can fly around too. But I really think it's really cool. So I built a submarine. Obviously, this isn't it. That's my character. He's like default. It's got like unattached feet and stuff. It's pretty cool. And yeah, this this is just the boat you spawn on for the vehicle designer. And the water's kind of shallow, which I don't really like that, but because I built a submarine and it's kind of difficult to stay from not hitting the ground and being underwater. So I might not go underwater with it, but I'll show it to you real quick. I built this 100% by myself. That's why it's called my sub. Maybe I shouldn't have put it so close to myself, but whatever. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to go back into my player's body and push this off. Get out of here. Get out. Alright. Well, since I'm here, I might as well show you the cannon. If I can. Yeah. No, I can't get that angle. I'll have to use the other one. I don't know why my HUD isn't working. I'm assuming that's really loud, so I'm going to turn down the volume. To like... 8%. So I built that cannon, these are two satellites, this is the part where you go in and out of, what is wrong with my HUD? I know the buttons, it's just annoying. So this is the inside, these are the oil tanks, or fuel tanks. This is the ammunition, and, well, if you get shot where your ammunition is, your entire ship blows up, so those don't get hit. These are the pumps that keep the water out of it that would come in through these cracks. This is the engine. I will, you'll be seeing that in a little bit once I start driving. I like to keep the engine room walled off because of the exhaust. Alright, so this fuel thing and the ammunition producer. See, yeah, the water could come in through the crack like that. That's why you have to have all these pumps in every separate room. I'm not really sure how these things work yet. The gauges, no. That, no, but I do know how to sit in the seat. And the tab view is very nice. I like how they've integrated how the camera can come with your ship once you start going. So, yes. We are going forward at, I believe, full speed. You can see all the smoke in the back. <clears throat> Voice crack. Smoke in the back. And I've added jet engines. And they are turning on. Unfortunately, due to their power, it makes my ship do a nosedive, so I can't use them quite too much. Okay, I'm really kind of curious where all my buttons went. Uh, they might have disappeared when I pressed F12. Okay, so from first person it looks like you're in a submarine. Ooh, this is really fun. We're underwater, yay. But, to everyone else, you're kind of just skimming across the water, which is a, still a good design. The water slows down your missiles and cannonballs tremendously, so that it would be some extra defense, although my engine and engine room are completely out of the water. My propellers aren't doing too much, it's mainly just these humongous jet engines. And I'll show you what happens when you give it full speed with the jet engines. 
We start to do nosedive, and now we are submarine. Yep, doing a submarine, except we gotta back off really quickly before we flip all the way over. So, I suppose if you're being shot at a ton, just do this as your defensive maneuver. Begin to go underwater. And that should be pretty successful. They can only hit your engine area, which is the most important part, but who cares? So right now I'm just playing around with the controls. We were completely underwater for actually a good bit of time right there. This is kind of like a whale or a dolphin that emerges for air for a couple seconds. Mm, it's kind of working. There you go, now you're completely underwater, and how long is this? I'd say that was a pretty long time, and as soon as you emerge, just be ready to fire those turrets on top and engage the enemy. So, this is the submarine. Uh, thank you for watching, but real quick before I go, I'm going to... slow down I think and place down another ship and we are going to blow it up so yeah it's kind of hard to get through this little hole you guys jetpack feet aren't very reliable but I got it there I feel like we're going in reverse alright just fly over here. Since we're going backwards, I'm going to put it over here. Load vehicle. I also built this ship. And here we go. I'm going to start to shoot it up. Alright, here's my back cannon. Takes pretty good damage. It's a lot easier when you have your HUD because then you know exactly where your bullets are gonna land. Some of the shells do ricochet. But that's okay. This is the more powerful cannon for sure. Look at all that green stuff. I don't know what that is, but must be good so that's about how many shots you get off if you are a two person crew and you emerged from the water now my person for some reason is repairing the, the ship which I whatever I guess I don't really care these are the crappy cannons on this ship pretty bad they don't even like work this is kind of like the design of the other one. Can I do some self-inflicting damage? Yeah, I can shoot my own cannon at me. But it appears that my ship has gone off. Has it? If it has, I'm probably never going to catch up to it on this weather. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let in like this video. And I might be doing more footage of this game if you guys like it. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.